things at the moment, like you might be able to benefit from a bit of confidence boost. Or maybe you could just use a nice swift kick in the backside to get you going. Yeah, sometimes that's really what it takes is those nice swift kicks in the backside that don't really feel so pleasant, but maybe upon retrospect, we recognize that that was what we really need, right? Now, before you kind of run and go, okay, well, you know, he's talking about kicks in the backside. Oh, no, 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 I'm not talking about it that harshly. And I'm not definitely not talking about somebody taking their actual foot and like getting you in the backside with it. But what I am talking to you about is the realization or recognition that sometimes the best support comes in ways that we really don't want to hear, right? You know, the, they call it tough love sometimes, where we have to kind of confront something that we don't really want to confront. You see, we become lazy in our lack of confidence, right? Because in our mind, it's a lot easier to not do something when you're not absolutely certain of what to do than it is to do something when you know which way you're going and you have a really good idea of which way the wind's blowing and you can have a general good idea of the outcome. But right now, it doesn't really feel like you have any of those. You can feel, to a certain degree, a level of passion that's welling up inside you, propelling you to take action, but there's still this overwhelming sense of hesitancy that seems to be based upon confusion within your head in regards to which direction your heart wants to take things. And at the moment, you're likely seeing too many paths that you can go down, and it's too hard to pick one single path. Want to call a friend? right? Need that extra little bit of a confidence boost? Well, one of the things that can help you with that are my astrological services. There's presently a 15% discount available on my consultations if you schedule using the code YT at the link above. So what's creating all of this energy for you? Well, the moon during its full moon cycle, uh, this particular period in Purva Falguni, which is related to how we benefit from union, but most especially union with ourselves. But you see, Porva Falguni, it has a little bit of a lazy streak to it. It's got a lot of what is called tamasic energy, and tamasic energy is very dense and it's very heavy, but it's got this little push of what's called rajasic or active energy or an energy that thinks of itself as the doer that's trying to push it through the situation. Now, with this particular full moon, there's a lot of aspects to the moon. Obviously, the sun, because a full moon cycle is going to happen when the sun is opposing the moon. But you also have Mars and Venus building up an extra little boost of passion in Shravana Nakshatra, which is creating somewhat of an inner battle within in regards to which direction you should take. And you have Mercury in Shatabisha, Mercury in a little bit of a weak condition, having a hard time to sort sorting through the details. And we've got Jupiter in Barani and Saturn in Porva Bhadrapada. Speaking of frustration and a need to let go and actually step through. Now, with this particular full moon cycle, it looks like you have some extra, not just celestial help to kind of back you up. You also have the help of a friend or the help of a loved one or the help of a family member. But you see, we have this tendency to like to have our ego stroked. We want to hear what we want to hear about ourselves. And we think that confidence needs to come in the form of like, you know, getting that extra little bit of a positive boost where the person goes, oh, sure, you're absolutely right. That's the right direction to go. And we're not so open to, what the, what the, what's the matter, you, huh? 
What's going on? <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> Come on, you know, like, take a look, take a look at the situation. How could you be thinking that? We're not so wild about that type of ladder support, right? But sometimes if you can really listen to another person when that's coming uh, through, it can help you with what you're dealing with. The thing is, is sometimes we have certain complexes from, you know, being spoken to in a certain manner, you know, by our mother and our father uh, in a manner that we perhaps didn't want to hear. And so we hold that pain or that wound inside of ourselves. And then when somebody comes along who's actually a loving friend or somebody who's supportive and they say things like that, well, that old wound, it gets triggered. And we sometimes don't want to hear that, right? We go, well, you know what? I left the fold a long time ago. I can handle this and I've got this. Oh yeah, why are you seeking out that <laughs> that little bit of extra help if you're feeling that that's the case. Well, truth of the matter is, you do, you are in a situation where you're able to handle it. That other person who's offering you that extra little tidbit of information, they're actually just another person who's reflecting a side of you that is that side that ultimately knows. But somewhere in the middle, your ego is in the way of an answer. And your ego is going to have to step aside. Even if that requires a certain degree of humility, even if that requires making a mistake. But if you look, someone is within your immediate environment and they're trying to keep you from doing so. I'd like to be that extra little bit of assistance if you could use it. And I will remind you there is a 15% discount on my astrological services when you schedule using the code YT at the link above. That's going to do it for this look at the full moon in Porva Falguni, which takes place on the 24th of February, 2024. Until next time, please do take the very best care of yourself. Bye now. Thank you.